today, another awesome vlog. I am back with a Lakers update. So today is game three. It's getting ready to start in a couple of hours, so I'm really excited. But let's do a little recap of game two. It was the first home game for the Lakers. It was a sold out crowd. There were tons of celebrities in the audience. Kylie Jenner, um, Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Anthony Kiedis, lots and lots of celebrities filled the stands. And like I said, it was sold out. Everyone was so excited for LeBron's first game on home court at Lakers. If you missed the, missed the game though, there was some other excitement that happened in the fourth quarter. The Lakers were down by one. The incident began when James Harden was fouled by Brandon Ingram on the Lakers. They were playing the Houston Rockets that night. After the foul, Ingram didn't feel like he should have been fouled and he shoved Harden. Let's check out that clip. All right, so this is what started the altercation. We have a hard foul here on Harden and it's called against Ingram and Ingram is really upset about it so he pushes Harden. Because of that, he gets a technical foul. This then led to an altercation between Chris Paul and Rajon Rondo. Chris Paul and Rajon Rondo were in each other's faces. Chris Paul first started by poking Rajon Rondo in the face, which then led to a fight. Let's check it out. Which then causes Ingram to jump back in and throw punches as well. Immediately after watching the fight to see what actually happened, three players were ejected from the game. Ingram, Paul, and Rondo. Not only was he the instigator by pushing James Harden, but then he came in and was a part of the altercation between Paul and Rondo and started throwing punches as well. So he was suspended for four games. Rondo was suspended for three games because he threw the first punch with Chris Paul and he spit on him. Chris Paul was suspended for two games. However, Chris Paul got the highest fine. His fine was higher than the other two because your fines are based on your salary. Ingram was fined $158,816. Rondo was fined $186,207. And Paul was fined $491,782. That is intense. That not only are they going to miss games, but they also received a large fine. When the reporters spoke to Luke Walton, the head coach, he indicated that he actually felt that this began earlier in the game when Hart was clotheslined by Ennis on the other side, on the other team, and he only received a flagrant foul one instead of a flagrant foul two. He actually clotheslined Hart, lifted his feet off the ground, and slammed his back down on the court. And all the players were just up in arms about that and felt that something more should have been done about that and that he should have been ejected from the game. LeBron James was also interviewed and they asked him how he felt about this, if he was upset with his team, if he was concerned because they've been losing. And now there have been fights on the court and he indicated that this is to be expected. There was a lot of intensity at this game. These were two teams that were 0-1. They each wanted to win this game really, really badly. And he's not concerned at all. He knows that there's going to take some time for these players to learn to play together and to really start winning. But he knows that is going to happen here anytime soon. There's also been a lot of talk because after the altercation, LeBron James actually grabbed Chris Paul and took him off to the sidelines instead of pulling one of his own teammates off to the sidelines. But what some of you may not know is Chris Paul is the godfather to LeBron James Jr., LeBron James' oldest son who's 14 years old, who actually is an amazing basketball player himself and will probably become a star someday if he stays on the same path. So I'm sure that LeBron really wanted to pull Chris aside, make sure that he understood that he couldn't be doing this kind of stuff because he's like family to LeBron. When McGee was interviewed as well, he indicated that at that point in the game, before the altercation, they were only down by one point and they really had great momentum. Unfortunately, they used it in a negative way and he felt that if there hadn't been an altercation, they absolutely would have pulled ahead and won the game. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but hopefully that will happen tonight. Tonight is game three. 
They are playing the San Antonio Spurs. The San Antonio Spurs are one and one right now. They've won a game and lost a game. We have lost two games, so hopefully tonight is the night that we actually get a win. They are home again in LA, so I know that will give them some momentum, and I'm really looking forward to the game and hoping to see a win. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video with recaps and updates on the Lakers. I'm excited for this season. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye! There you go. All right, so the Lakers are in overtime. And they have 142 points. The Spurs have 143. They have six seconds to make this shot. And unfortunately, LeBron James goes in and misses the basket. And the Lakers lose by one in overtime. It was devastating. We really thought they were going to come back. They were up in this overtime period. And then they fell apart at the very end. So very disappointing third game. They almost won, but they didn't. You only have to win by one, and that's all the Spurs won by. 0-3. Oh and, and the Spurs are 1-2-1. One and two and one. Bummer. Game over. Clock expired.